Okay, so welcome to map 10. Map 10 is a little more interesting. Let's jump right into it. Let's do it on a half speed. So, uh, first jump here, you can go from right to left, but when I, ch I, I just choose to jump straight, it's gonna be more than enough. And then you wanna, uh, you know, up here you can see that there's this pillar. You wanna go on the inside of the pillar, on the right side of the pillar, and then go over this small gap right here, because you're actually gonna minimize airtime. If you just drive from here over there, you're gonna get a small amount of airtime in this downhill. If you do this, you actually get no airtime and you're gonna accelerate uh, while you wouldn't if you if you got airtime, right? So that's faster. Then you wanna make sure right here, when you're, when you're about to jump off here, make sure you don't steer when you're about to jump off. And right as you jump off, you wanna hit that brake button. You wanna tap that brake button to do an air brake um, so your car lands flat. And then you can start turning immediately. Make sure you don't start drifting. You shouldn't be drifting if you did what I just told you a second ago. Um, then technically it's faster to go in between these two pillars, but it's not needed at all for the author metal. Now you wanna do the same trick here. You wanna make sure you don't steer when you're jumping down. And then you wanna air brake right as you, uh, right as you jump out, right, okay? And then you wanna land and you wanna start start releasing you want to release you can see right here i initiate my release right here and i turn and <clears throat> you want to you want to notice where this corner is this corner right here and when you realize now i have the option to start accelerate to start accelerating you want to accelerate as soon as possible the sooner you accelerate the better but also the sooner you accelerate the closer to this wall you're going to be right so it's it it's all about the angle of which you initiate this turn when you when you start um, releasing that accelerator and when you accelerate once again those three factors are going to be what decide the, the 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 speed of which you do this uphill right here okay and subsequently the speed of the rest of the map so you should inc you should you should be doing this uphill with a decent amount of speed right here. You can see my speed. You can always compare. And I actually start to release here again because the reason I release is because you always want to release before a jump. If you have to release during a jump, you want to release before it and not during it. So I release before the jump, then I accelerate while jumping. The reason I released is to land earlier. If I if I didn't do it, I would land all the way up here or something and I didn't wouldn't have enough time to do a, a clean turn. So now I do a clean turn. I hit a little bit of the inside there, but it's fine. Um, you want to keep on accelerating right here and here I see a lot of people have mistakes you can see my car is lined with its nose directly towards this um, arrow right these arrows that point downward if you if you aim your car towards these arrows you should be fine it's directly where you need to jump and that's it that is all for the author metal this should be more than enough you can all, always vary uh, you know the lines this is more than author metal, so as long as you do something similar to this, it's fine. Okay, check the Twitch. Bye-bye.